In the afternoon, we heard from a previous neighbor named Michael Donlin, who had a camera outside of his house, continuously filming video and audio. He says that it's obvious that in the recording from that night, there was screaming, then two gunshots, a pause, and a third gunshot. His camera also captured a black Jeep previously in the night. The prosecution had Donlin describe the audio and the Jeep. He described a black bike rack on the back of the Jeep. Defense attorneys asked if he's ever seen a bike rack or a black Jeep elsewhere in Austin, to which he answered sure. Jurors also heard from other witnesses, including Austin Police Sergeant Ronaldo Ramirez. He took the stand at the start of the day, resuming where court left off on Wednesday. The defense asked about what was included in his report and what was left out. In his testimony Thursday, he said that at the end of his shift on May 11th into May 12th, their person of interest was Colin Strickland. While Strickland is not on trial, he is important to this case as the prosecution called him one of the three key figures. We've yet to hear from him in court, but I asked an unaffiliated attorney questions about this. How do you think his testimony could move the case? Well, my understanding uh, from the, the information that's been put out is that the prosecution has painted the uh, defendant as being jealous of, of the victim because of the boyfriend and that's something I think they're going to have to to add to and probably are adding to their their case as far as trying to put forth evidence of that so they can make that argument that this this was the reason she did it and therefore it was her and I think the opposite is going to come into play for the defense where they're going to try to downplay the relationship that he had with either one of these women trial starts back up tomorrow morning. Jessica Taylor, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.